Hello everyone and welcome to the Brett Stevens Show. I am your host, Brett Stevens, and today we are talking about Richard Harmon joining the Flash's final season as the new Captain Boomerang. Now, the Captain Boomerang character has had a pretty interesting screen history for the last two years. He was played by two different Spartacus alumni in live action, Jai Courtney in the Suicide Squad films, and Nick E. Terraby on Arrow for a couple of episodes. Now, the Terraby version is the one that I have a little bit of an issue with, in part because that version never really made it to Central City. And the only reason why Barry and Co. got to interact with him was because they ended up in Star City for a little bit. So they got to have like one scene together, and that was it. Now, call me old-fashioned, but I like it when the mainline heroes and the mainline villains are kind of you know, facing off on a regular basis. You know, it it works a little bit with Deathstroke on Arrow, but with Boomerang, I just, we, we don't really have a sense of why he would even be a threat at this point. Why would Boomerang ever be a threat to the Flash when he has a lot bigger fish to fry at this point? And it's just kind of ridiculous that we haven't really gotten to see any of that. And I want to believe that the Harmon iteration of the character is going to have a big face-off with Flash. But if you've watched the the show for the last few years, and you know that they're kind of going to go in the... Well, they're probably going to go in the direction of just trying to rehabilitate, rehabilitate him and redeem the character rather than really show us why Boomerang has given Barry such a run for his money in the comics over the years. So I just wish that they would figure out how to really give some weight to the character so, and I, like I said, emotionally, it'll probably be there. But I just, I'm not optimistic the way they tell their stories on the Flash a lot of the time. But fortunately, I have no doubt that Richard Harmon's going to do a great job because the casting on the show has always been really good. Like, Grant Gustin was, has been fantastic. Candace Patton has been amazing. Daniel Pattenberger has been amazing. Jesse L. Martin, of course, has been fantastic. You know, it's unfortunate that he's not going to be on the show very much this year because he's going to be doing a new pilot called The Irrational. So hopefully they'll be able to squeeze in as many episodes as possible. He's supposed to be in five. Hopefully it'll be a little more because they're not supposed to go into production on that show until October. And they've been, I think they've been filming the ninth season of The Flash for a little while now, so hopefully there's going to be time to do some cool stuff. But I just hope that Boomerang is given his due here, especially but by his core, you know, arch nemesis, quote-unquote, Flash. But I just, I don't see that happening based on how the Flash, the Flash formula plays out a lot. But I hope I'm wrong. What do you guys think? Do you guys still watch The Flash? Do you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to Richard Harmon's take? Um, happy